morning. We are at Detroit Lake. Uh, just launching from the shore real quick. Really don't come here very often because the amount of people who show up here a lot and the caliber of people who show up here a lot bother me a little bit. We just decided to come and paddle around. Never really come here very often. It's a little smoky. I think there's a fire nearby. But uh, here in a second, I'll just show you the views. There's a very beautiful sun that has popped out. We are going to go west for a while and see what's there. So here's this particular inlet. Uh, you can see get a little closer. See the ridges there, the kind of stairs that go up? That's the different water levels that are here. So right now the water level is fairly low, I think. But it definitely gets much higher up. Shall I insert a graphic to show you the the most highest one? See if you can see it. Right about there is the most highest one. So anyway. I'm about to crash into the shore. We're going to check out the next one over. See how that one is. Lots of rocks here. Lots of rocks. So again, there used to be... Apparently there used to be a town under, deep, under the lake. Uh, they flooded it when they built the Detroit Dam. I don't know where the town is. This is all part of the Saniam River at some point. water surely cannot get up that high. Uh, that's probably 30 to 40 feet above us. I know you're looking at the sky right now, sorry. I'm having to steer my canoe and operate a camera at the same time. But you can see where the erosion has happened. Surely can't get up that high because the, the other side of the lake over on that end is the highway and it's not up that high I don't believe god it's hot pretty much uh, already done with summer it's been just a really hot summer which probably means we're gonna have a really cold 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 winter we all looking forward to a cold winter cold and rainy freaking winter Hopefully not like last winter when we had the ice storm in February and ice and trees and everything was just falling to the ground. It was obnoxious. Back to Detroit. Check that out. That's kind of cool. You know, there used to be a tree there. Obviously, it's just a stump now that's kind of cool the water's just kind of eroded the uh, the roots away the ground away where the roots were that's kind of cool okay here's our second little inlet that we wanted to kind of explore a little bit doesn't look like there's much for landing in the way here Paddle around it. We paddle through it, and you see over uh, to the right of us, which would be west. There's kind of a little beach, which might be pretty good. I'm actually pretty serious. Um, I might want to come out here and see if I can do a dispersed campsite somewhere. Let's uh, let's head over to the other side. I'm zoomed super in. There we go. Better. That's better. Anyway, uh, let's head over to where that beach is, and um, just right up there a little bit, and we'll we'll hop off and we'll, we'll see how it looks for a little camping. So the biggest problem that I'm seeing right now are all these trees that are everywhere, or the tree stumps that are all over the place. That could pose a problem. 
Let's see if there's any of the ones underwater that I can't really see. It's kind of a cool little beach we got going on here. Right, let's land it right here. Okay, here's this little beach that we've landed on. Whole bunch of uh, cut down trees that have been just hanging out. These trees are submerged quite a bit, usually. So this is super cool. See how the water has just eroded away the uh, the roots around the tree or the ground around the tree. That's pretty cool, actually. Really like uh, seeing things like that. Anyway, so up here, past all these rocks, I found something. I found someone's campsite. Oh, it's going to take me a second to navigate these rocks. There is the fire pit that they had. And it's a fairly flat area. It's not too bad. Oh, well, yeah, here's the fire pit. And, of course, you know... They left their garbage in it because it's what we do. It's how we do, I guess. We just leave our garbage here for all to enjoy. But I can probably come up here one time, set up my uh, hike and bike Zion 1P. Right here is a nice little spot right here. It's relatively flat. Fire pits right here. And check this view out check it out it's beautiful yeah so I think one day uh, we're gonna have to come up here and camp I've always kind of avoided Detroit Lake because of the type of people who come up here but uh I think during like uh, maybe late September early October we can come up here and uh, have a decent camp. What do y'all think? What do you all think? Look at that view. Look at that hair. Man, my hair. My hair is just something else, isn't it? Anyway, we're gonna jump back on the water. Paddle out of here. I'm done for today. I gotta get home. Uh, found that good campsite that I think I'm gonna utilize eventually. It's uh, pretty nice. You're a little crooked. Ah, there we go. Really nice, had a good view. Uh, definitely want to try to utilize that at some point. Jumped in the lake. That felt pretty good because it's hot. Yeah. So, uh, hey, that was Detroit Lake. I'm going to paddle back to the truck now. 
get the canoe all loaded up and get out of here. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Join me on the next adventure. I don't know where that'll be. Kind of making this up as I go. Take care.